guys welcome back to my channel i don't know why i sang that but whatever i am here just to show you what i'm going to be using for 2023 as far as planners so for business i'm going to continue using my very own business planner i think i think you guys have seen this i've shown this planner before if you haven't, I have a whole video on it. It's going to continue to help me achieve my goals and things like that. I also use other digital products like Trello and Milano and things like that. And I've done several videos on that as well. For my day-to-day, -day, I am going to continue with the Dot Dot Planner. And that is this planner. And that is this. I'm going to use this called the Life Planner 2023. I'm, it's almost that thing like if it's not broke, why fix it? Even though I can always change out of it and whatever. This planner again is from Dot Dot and that's the website for it. If you guys want to take a look at it. But it's been so useful for me. She has um, the calendars, vision board, yearly plan, yearly goals and things like that. Those other stuff I use outside of this. I use this for my weekly goals and things like that. But she also has, which I don't think I've ever mentioned this before. She also has um, goals, like a goal page. She also has a budget planner, a wellness planner, meal planner, extra templates. So this is um, even a party planner, okay? <laughs> party planner project planner, travel planner, reading planner, which I don't think I've ever seen before. No, I don't think I've ever seen it because as you know, I have my own super creative one, but this is kind of cool. And I bought this last year with the 2022 one and she gave me this one as part of the package. So, and I think it's because I bought it really late. Um, then we have like a notepad or you can have like different notebooks on whatever you want. I actually sometimes write out my script for my YouTube videos in here. Um, a habit tracker, a favorite stickers that you can add there. I added mine to the elements, but you can do that as well. And then what I love is the simplicity of it, right? It's so, I, I don't know, I just love this planner. Like, this has been my favorite planner so far for, again, for productive planning. Because my um, Lux book is still my creative planner when you tap on the month it brings you to the goals for that month so you'll have all the goals that you want to achieve and then you have the three that you want to focus on and then it, it has like a previous month overview or the month overview i should say so once you finish your goals then you can kind of come in here and kind of um reminisce and reflect this month was moments of the month next month i will stuff like that and then it takes you back to the main page. And then, of course, all of these are hyperlinked by weekly. So this will go to your first week. Um, you can go to the next week after that and so forth. And then go back to the calendar. And then, of course, they're hyperlinked by day. So that takes you to the day view. Which, as you know, if you see me use a 2022, it's pretty much the same thing. What I am going to do is that this year i am going to try to use some of these different things a little more like the money one i think i'm going to use i'm going to use the um the extras some of the extras like the project plan if i have a project travel i have three exciting travel things this year travel places i'm not going to use the reading logs because again i have my own but i think it has let me see. This is like if you wanted to write at least track. If you're doing kind of a challenge, I think this would be good. Like 10 books in a month. And you can quickly track them. With my reading log, it's like a for life. Like a, you want to get more detailed and stuff like that with it. So I could possibly use that for like challenges, which I do want to read more. And then I have, not I have, then it has... Oh, it has a Pomodoro tracker, if you know what that is. Then it has a my 100 list, 
Oh, this is cool because I'm doing... I'm going to be doing 101 things in 1,001 days. All I have to do is add 101 down here. Make a copy of that section and just add my 101 thing. Maybe the 101 thing will be something fun that doesn't even need to be part of that. But this is majorly cool, so I'm going to ribbon that. Let's go back to the extras. Bucket list, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, a hundred, hundred day challenge. If you're planning on a challenge for whatever, whatever fitness or anything really. Let's say you want a hundred days of meditation. You can come in here and boop, boop, boop. You know, this, this planner, <laughs> I don't know if she had all of this in this year, but sheesh. This planner is better than before. Okay. Daily routine. That's cool. Hmm. Uh, task tracker. Let me see what that looks like. So let me go in order like this. It's a task tracker. Pomodoro. A to-do list. As it says. So she's using down here the get it done system. Do it, delegate it, schedule it, eliminate it. You have the daily routine. Time blocking schedule. So if you want a day where you want to time block your schedule, this will help you do that. Um, a study schedule, if you study. Family schedule. Meeting minutes, if you have a meeting and you take down notes. 100 challenge, 30 days, 100 list, bucket list. Key dates, contact list, which I don't use. The year and color. I don't know how you would use this, but this is pretty cool. And a vision board. A gift planner which is cool um, outside of Christmas. I have a Christmas planner, but this will be good for all the birthdays and anniversaries and things that you may want to make sure you remember. This is super cute, quotes for self. And then of course the actual, the notebooks. So I'm gonna be using that. I do wanna go and see if all of the stuff is an extra this year. It actually is, and I never used it. <laughs> Shame on me. Anyway, so she does have, like I mentioned, she does have a health tracker here where you can track um, your wellness. Um, this is the wellness planner. You can track your workouts, your workout log, measurement tracker, weight tracker. I think the measurement tracker has a lady, yeah. But can you believe this, guys? You won't believe this. I am actually, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get more light. I have actually decided to go with a paper planner for fitness. I know. <gasps> oh my gosh, shocker. And here's the reason why I'm going to do this. I'm going to set this to the side. Here's the reason why. I tried to look for a fitness planner that was digital so I can continue to use it on my iPad. But I wasn't able to find something that met my needs. Um, and I wanted something that wasn't just like... A planner made by just a regular creative person I needed a planner for fitness and, and health from an actual fitness person and none of those were coming up for me um, a digital planning so I just went back to what I know which is Cassie from Bagalatis I love her work I love her motivation I love her nutrition I love how she just promotes healthy bodies like I love everything about her and so what I was hoping was that this was a digital planner, but she doesn't have that. So you know what? For my fit planner, it's going to be paper. So I'm going to flip you through what it's going to look like. And I'm kind of excited to, you know, to go back to, you know, how I started paper planning. But not have, like, my regular day-to-day -day be a paper planner, if that makes sense. So this is going to, I don't know, like, I feel like so motivated to already use it. Um, one pack, one pack, one, um, thing that she offers is to come with stickers. So these are the cute little, like, stickers that it comes with. It has, like, a little suitcase. So I guess when you, I can put that for when I'm going away that I won't necessarily be exercising. Because let's be real. And then just cute little stickers. And then these have grocery. 
I can't see that. Oh, meal prep, money, laundry. And they just repeat themselves four times. So I think those are super cute. And that's part of the one of the packages. Because you can also have the package to where you don't get any stickers at all. But I figured, I think it was like two, three dollars more. I figured, let me just get the stickers. They're pretty cute. And I just keep them in the back here in the sleeve. Obviously, this planner belongs to blah, 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 the usual. So she, what she has is, let me see if I can straighten myself out. Okay. So what she has is, is the three things that bring me joy, five things that deprive me of joy. So this is going to be, am I really going to use this page? Probably not. But I'm going to use them in a different type of way. I don't know if she meant it this way, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. So instead of instead of just five things that bring me joy, I'm gonna do five things that bring me joy in working out. So that if I feel like I don't want to get motivated that day, or I don't have the motivation to get up, I can come in here and be like, oh, these things bring me joy. Cycling, lifting weights, whatever it is. And if I'm feeling unmotivated, I'm gonna pick one of the things that lift me up um five things that the pride my joy so like my five least things that i like about like working out like i hate doing burpees i'm not gonna do them shits um ex you know etc and kind of the same token here on this side it says when i feel like giving up i need so what makes me the happiest when i feel like giving up i need to take a walk i love taking walks so take a walk um, unmotivated to start, turn on a fitness dance um, video. Um, when I feel not good enough, look at my past year. Or like, you know, you get it, you get it. So I'm, that's how I'm going to fill this out. So I'm excited to actually sit down and think of this. It's so pretty too. And again, she just has the short-term, long-term goals. And this is going to be all related. I'm going to try to keep it all related to fitness and health. That's it. So I'm not going to be like long-term goal to marry somebody like in a fitness planner. Like, no. My 2023 vision. So then she has inspo space. Like, I want to put pictures of my inspiration in fitness here and even if it's myself a way i looked um way back when i'm gonna put that there then it just has your january intentions which i thought was really cool so she has track your habit set a goal for the month your cycle tracker which is super important for us ladies and the monthly measurements and then we jump into the month so january then we have just a regular glance i'm going to put all my workouts here which is going to be so much fun um then here's meal prep. I don't meal prep because I hate meal prepping. I just hate eating the same things over and over again. So I don't tend to do that. So I won't probably be using that. I do. You do have a grocery list, which I can fill out as, you know, like I make a nutrition plan and I can fill it out here and then order groceries or shop for it, whatever. I believe you can maybe just take that out, cut it out with the scissors and take it with you. Whatever. I'll probably just that, jot it down here and then... um put it on my phone on a checklist but she does include in your meal prep she does include the grams of fat carbs protein total calories so that you know what each meal will actually have before you make it so if you want to come back to that meal you know you know you know the the tracker or the you know the macros you know what i mean so that's pretty cool then we have the dailies so the dailies just has the trackers for for the food it has a mood tracker which i don't really use how many hours you slept the water tracker which is cool i don't even need to do water tracker because i drink so much water already and then just the to do's that you're going to do that day um again try to keep it for me try to keep it with fitness and then the workout for the day and what i like that she's done is she's done this week's challenge down here this one says create one smart goal to start your year with a purpose and then like every week let me see every week she has a new challenge write out a meal plan and grocery list for the week and use it <laughs> that's really super important guys write out your meals but actually use it write out your goals but actually do them 
same vein. Uh, this one's cool. Try to go to bed 10 minutes earlier than your normal bedtime. So it just gives you like different challenges. And then at the end of the month, she does give you, let me see if she, she did it this one. She does give you a little recipe of something. So she ends the month with a January recap, what your biggest accomplishment was, your biggest challenge, what I learned, um, what you love about yourself, and your January goal check-in. So that goal that you set at the beginning of the month, how did you do with it? And then she gives you a recipe of some sort, some, again, a nutritional recipe, which is why I wanted a planner by a fitness person. Because I knew we would have something like this. And so this one, she gives you protein pancakes, which they look delicious. Like, I want to make them now. And here, February, we start again. So let's see what the recipes are. So this one is chia jam. That sounds delish. Then we have banana bites. This is a dessert. Um, vegan ranch dip. Sweet potato nachos. That sounds so good. Okay. Um, coconut fruit dip. Creamy layered popsicles. Tropical chia pudding. I've never had chia pudding. If you guys have, let me know if it tastes good. Flourless blender muffins. What? Just making my water. So this is for November. So of course, healthy pumpkin spice latte. And then for December, we've got cinnamon streusel, streusel, streusel coffee cake. I love coffee cake. I love coffee, so of course. And then cinnamon roll baked oats, which again sounds freaking delicious. Then she has a measurement guide, body fat, <clears throat> how to measure yourself, measurement tips. When she's saying goodbye 2023 and just a reflection of your goals for the year, so forth, and just a space for notes. So yeah, guys, this is gonna be my 2023. Well, it's a heavy, it's a heavy girl. My 2023 fit planner, and I'm so excited to use it. Um, I'll check in mid-year, three months from now, and well, three and a half-ish months from now, and see if I'm still using it. But I hope to. I really want to make this year that I get back into my fitness. I'm not getting any younger. And so I really want to be in the best shape that I can because I have, because I can. Because I'm not, I don't have a health issue and I don't want any, any health issues. But while I can, I have to get to my goals, my fitness goals. So let me know in the comments below what planners you're using this year. Let's discuss, let's chat. Um, if you have any ones that you'd like me to check out or that you're using and you absolutely love, let me know. Let me know in the comments below and I will possibly do a video on it and check those out as well. So thank you for joining me for this video and I'll check you guys out soon. Bye.